everyone. Okay, so um, in this video I'm going to be explaining the additions and updates in the new build that we'll be using. Uh, a lot of these additions and updates are centered around the weapon. Uh, we now actually have a proper functioning weapon for bo all three of our um, attunement weapon types, which is cord base and digital. So um, I've just spent the past 10 to 12 hours or so getting it all working and adding a few extra features and functionality so the weapon is placed properly on the screen now uh, I think that's a good enough location for it uh, you can see where this screen is supposed to be and uh, you can see a good deal of the weapon in general without it obstructing too much um, it kind of waves as you move the weapon so it's not just a static thing that's plonked on the screen It's it's got a bit of feedback as you can see the more I move the uh, more the weapon will rotate before updating to its position okay so I've made the some particle effects and meshes and whatever that's all placeholder for the moment so if any artists want to replace them as long as they're better then you know feel free to uh, so the cord at the moment uh, I've made and implemented this. So this is just your, the bog standard projectile attack. You know it shoots projectiles. So I thought it'd be cool if we use those two locations. From my understanding they are the two firing locations. If you look at where the muzzle flashing is happening. And these do kill the enemies. The reason I'm on a custom map is just uh, to purely show off the weapon for now. I'll do another little segment at the end to show it in the in level. Uh, this is the base projectile. and this is the digital projectile oops <laughs> okay so uh, also the weapon is actually moving its location the reason it might look a bit jaggedy is because I at the moment have a bit of low FPS due to how due to the recording as well as using quite a bit of dynamic light in this room uh, also one of the extra features I've added uh, to the player is the ability to well first of all I've changed the collision height as well and, and done a few things like that and I've adjusted the movement speed so it's a bit more appropriate as you can see not zooming around but if you need to zoom around then I've actually added a sprint function as you can see and it was not easy doing this with just pure code <laughs> uh, the because normally I think you'd use animation for this kind of thing but anyway yeah you cannot as you can see I'm clicking you cannot fire while you're sprinting so you can't just run around like a maniac shooting everywhere the idea I guess is to shoot you know retreat that kind of uh, situation and behavior so um that is most of what has been added uh, obviously we still need the gun to be textured I don't know what stage that's at if you can just comment in the uh, in the uh, post on Facebook and that'd be cool okay an issue with the sprinting in the previous video uh, the rotation was basically bugging out but I've, I've just fixed that now as you can see I can sprint for a long period of time and the gun doesn't uh, rotate on its own anywhere until I move. So I'm going to play from menu and normally we are going to have a, a, a lab with computer screens that the menu is going to switch between but at the moment we don't have that obviously so this is just the current menu. <laughs> So, as some of you have seen this, but I've recently kind of changed the style for it to be a bit more sleeker. So, just going through the options. So when you've done a certain part of the story, I was thinking you could just play a cutscene that you've unlocked.
Harmony systems online. It will be a bit laggy just purely because I'm recording. But you can see everything is working that was working from uh, the test level is working in here. So I switch to the correct weapon. There we go. Enemies in the the more FPS you have, the smoother the animation for this gun will be. In the area. There we go. As you can see, that's uh, this is pretty much the stage of the game we're at. Technically, we could have the waves go up to five or six waves, and at the end, it say, you know, well done, and then maybe you unlock a cutscene. All that functionality is already in the game. So now we have a fully functioning weapon, just minus the uh, special abilities. We're well on our way. Thanks for watching. Make sure to download. The, make sure to download the actual build for use at Una. Remember, all you have to do. Hang on. All you have to do is copy these three files into wherever your UDK directory is, and then run then you go into the binaries that is already on there open front end and then just open editor there if you have scripts that aren't compiled it should prompt you to compile scripts and then you just click click yes anyway thanks for watching make sure to download the build and let me know what you think cheers bye